Hello, I'm Wayne, and this is an emergency edition of Wayne's Iron Maiden podcast. Sponsored by Yorkshire Tea, multi biscuit flavour. Tastes like tea and biscuits. That's enough of the good stuff. Why are we here? We're here because of an error in my podcast. An error I tried to sort out, but I was too late because lots of people had already downloaded it. I got a message that someone had sent at 3am about some issue that I'd said that they didn't play the Mercenary Live Iron Maiden. Where did that come from? Why did I say it? I've got no idea. Because as I've been reminded, it was on the live album Rock in Rio. So I'll come up with all my excuses next week on next week's show. But for now, I'm going to analyse this live performance of the Mercenary as an extra special treat. Maybe it's a treat. I don't know. But uh, as part of the problem, um, well, or punishment, uh, Trevor says I should do it half naked. But clearly, I'm not doing that because I've got this sort of salmon pink thing, which actually is Trevor's Emily in Paris jumper. So, yeah, a bit humiliating. Not only did I mess up on the podcast, but I've got to wear something that Trevor probably hasn't washed for months. So, never mind. Let's look at the video then. Uh, Iron Maiden, The Mercenary, which they did play live. So what I'll do now, I'll go into YouTube. Now, I don't do these normally, so there may be a lot of cock-ups in it, which, you know, you're probably used to by now. But here we go. The Mercenary from the Rockin' Rio DVD that somebody has uploaded for us. Now, first of all, let's look at some of the comments. And great, scrolling down, if you ever buffered, there's all sorts of nice things, but after a few bits of scrolling, look, I don't know if you can see that, three comments from Suzanne Williamson, 8339, from four years ago, five years ago. Now, some of you probably think I made her up, but no, there she is. Look, she says, Iron Maiden, unrivaled in metal, undisputed masters of their craft. Just look and listen. What I will do in a minute, feel the vibes. That's cool, that's nice 90s language. These guys made history in Rock in Rio 2001. Their show is legendary for the best of reasons. Well, clearly it wasn't legendary for me, was it? Because I forgot they played the Mercenary. And, it says, and she says, oh, I don't think it could ever be topped. Not even by themselves. Yeah. And then a year before that, she said, wow, just wow. Listen to the escalating rhythm, epic guitar harmonies and solos, thunderous drums, climbing bass and the God-given voice of Bruce. Maybe she should do a podcast. You know, I don't want people to listen to me. And then she says, oh, you tell me if this isn't a golden gem. What is? <laughs> and then, yeah, that's not enough. She, then another comment. She could have probably just done this in one comment, couldn't she? But no, she, there she is again. This is the real deal. Metal and its power to reign. The fury, passion and extreme brilliance of their performance is mind-blowing. So I'm, I'm expecting big things from this video. Uh, you know, and, and probably some of you think I've never watched it before, and maybe this is one of those reaction videos where I pull funny faces and try and say things that are clever to get hits or likes. But there's no tip jar on this. This is just me in my living room, in board games, um, about to watch The Mercenary, which isn't one of the best songs, but I've got to do it, haven't I? I've got to do it for you lot. So here we go. Let's let's press play and see what happens. See if this works. I, I could be saying this and. It's not recording. Anyway, here we go. So, yeah. So, if I pronounced it like that, let's pause it. If I pronounced it like that, you'd all laugh, wouldn't you? I'm not going to even attempt to do it because my mum's in bed. But, uh, okay, let's carry on anyway. Ooh, well, I seem to have paused it on a rather odd bit, haven't I? There's Steve Harris's knees. But anyway, let's, let's, let's press play, because otherwise we're going to be here all night, aren't we? I'll keep analysing everything. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, Diablo, as, as was sort of mentioned in the podcast. That's how he says it, Diablo, not Diablo. Um, but straight away, you can sort of see the energy, and not just because they're cutting from camera to camera, but just the, the whole thing. Maybe this is one of those songs that's better live. Forget to make 
Ropey snare there, wasn't there? Just a bit out of time. And Bruce's vocal, yeah, it's a bit growly. Um, obviously, live, it's a bit different, isn't it? He hasn't got lots of takes. A bit like me doing this video. You know, I've got loads of takes. Like on a podcast, if I start burping, I can't edit that out. I've got to go with it. And one thing I never understood. Yeah, that's a bit breathy as well. Looking at some of the costumes on this, there's, I, I don't think I like that. What's that called? Battle vest denim thing that Bruce is wearing. There's not, not enough studs or patches on it. Um, and Steve Harris, I never quite understood what he was wearing on this show. Sort of long sleeve or short sleeve. Yeah, make your mind up. Um, Dave Murray looks good, and there's some good trousers. I think I'm Yanni. Quite pronounced on the fear, isn't it? Show them no fear. It's, yeah. I'm not sure I like that, but you know, if I was there, I'd be thinking differently. Only for laser. Putting his foot up on a speaker, that's just lazy. You know, you might as well sit down. If you're tired, put, you know, don't put your feet up. Honestly, energy. I mean, it's that, so maybe that's clever if you're holding a guitar. Just thinking, I, I, yeah, well, you've probably stopped watching anyway. No one cares. But, yeah, maybe I wonder if this is the future for the podcast. Maybe I'll start doing video reactions. Maybe, maybe I'll watch, you know, Nico on the Sutty Show and give my take on it. That might be more entertaining than talking about some, some of the Iron Maiden songs. Okay, so we're not quite halfway through yet. Um, stage set, not much going on there. Is there lots of, it's like that game Pick Up Sticks, isn't it? That sort of view I've got now. Um, where you sort of would pick up a stick and try not to... I don't know, I think you weren't allowed to move others, but that doesn't make sense, does it? Because, oh uh, yeah, man, yeah, they're sort of just... You just dropped them on the floor and you had to pick them up. And I think there were some colours were worth more points than others. It was like Kaplunk without the marbles. Okay, anyway, let's uh, move on. Get your foot off. Oh, look at that. Oh. I feel like I should show that again. It, it could have been longer, couldn't it? That, that zip wire. Um, a bit like the one at Ward End Park. Um, probably before it, it was taken away. I remember it in the 80s or 90s. used to go there in the summer. It was a bit far to walk compared to Stetford Hall Park. But yeah, they had a zip wire like that. Um, I never got a turn because there were bigger boys on it, but I think it got taken away. Um, so I just ended up going there to walk around the pond and look at the swans. Not dying swans. Good show, isn't it? I could forget this. Oh, and he's back on the... Oh, is that chest now? 
Looks like I'm just going to go back a bit. Ooh, yeah, I can't zoom in. Well, maybe I could, but like that there. Is that chest hair? Because that is blonde, isn't it? So you wouldn't expect that level of chest hair. I don't remember it on that, that you know, two minutes to midnight back cover where they're all lined up against the wall with the trousers on, the blindfolds. I don't remember Dave being particularly hairy, but maybe they suggest he was. But yeah, nice to watch him again playing his guitar. I mean, obviously, I was watching him play the guitar. You know, a lot of people would think it's strange focusing on that chest hair, wouldn't they? I focused in this episode on Adrian Solo, but I actually think Dave's is better. There you go, there's an exclusive extra for you if you've made it this far. mentioned that and that was another cock up in the episode when I mentioned that drum bit you know and then the music dropping out but yeah I liked that in the studio version but there I think it was a bit of a mess with Bruce making the crowd sing I don't think they were ready for it and then Bruce joined in with one word fear so yeah I didn't like it on the live version I actually like Yannick's trousers. I wonder if you can still buy them. I don't know what they're called. They're not they're not combat trousers. They're sort of camouflage, but snow camouflage maybe, or all that sort of marble when you had that funny paint and you, you put the paper in the, the tray of water and it came out with a marbly picture. I don't know if they do that at school anymore. It's probably been banned, but that's what Yannick's trousers look like to me. I think there's a good level of sweat there from Bruce. Um, maybe not to the level of Paul Diano on some of the earlier shows, but clearly you know, it's taken a lot of him, taken a lot out of him, isn't it? You know, the lights, this song, the denim. Uh, but yeah, I can see why. Maybe the zip wire was, was, was a lot as well. A bit like, we've got gladiators now, haven't we? So it's a bit like the gladiators. So it's essentially, Bruce is going through that sort of challenge, like those fit people do. Um, but he's not up against gladiators in this. He's just on the zip wire. I don't know what reference that, I can't even speak. I don't know what relevance that has to the Merson Um Zip wire. Maybe you used it. I don't know. Talk about Adrian's. It's like a denim blouse, really. It's quite long. It's, it's not well fitted. Reaction from the fans and Suzanne Williamson 8339 and me, maybe. So that was nice. Uh, so, yeah, what do I do now? I suppose I'll press stop or something. But yeah, the, the mercenary. Oh, they've got the trooper in the background. I didn't notice that. Oh, that's probably coming next, then, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure someone will correct me and, and say what's next in the set. But uh, yeah, good, a good song to follow, I suppose, isn't it? The mercenary and then the trooper. Um, so yeah, that was me. That was a sort of video thing. I don't know if it's going to go on Twitch or YouTube. It's probably too long for most social media channels, especially if I carry on talking like I am now. Um, but yeah, there we are. Maybe I'll do more of these. Uh, maybe at a more reasonable hour. Maybe with a bit more preparation. Uh, although it's not going to make me make more mistakes. It's probably a lesson for me. Because you know, this isn't comfortable, is it? Looking at a camera, not knowing who I'm talking to. Could be nobody. Uh, but there we are. Um, so there we are then. Um, I suppose I should end it like I would end an episode of my podcast and say thanks for watching. Bye-bye.